I was really um, sick my whole life. I had an epiphany when I was eight years old. I was like, I can either sit here on the couch and I can die, and I can just take my, kind of, I guess you could say death sentence, or I can run with it and I can do something that's, that kind of makes the world freak out a little bit. We did a lot of testing and they found out I have an unknown rare metabolic disease. My heart was enlarged, my gut was shutting down, my lungs collapsing. When I got my feeding tube, I woke up and I started immediately crying because I, f I felt like my life was over from that moment and I didn't really have the best cards in, in my hand. It sounds kind of crazy, but it was kind of really a blur. I saw this little magazine, it's Oklahoma Sports and Fitness magazine, and it had this triathlon in it, and I was like, I've never heard of this. I was like, I want to do it, because I love a challenge. I was more afraid to not try than to fail. I fell in love with the bike, and I still didn't know how to ride a bike at that time when I, when I won. It was an indoor um, spin bike, and I did uh, 10.7 miles in like 30 something minutes. Um, when I was 13, I was like, I think I might be good at this. And my mom was like, okay, well, let's get you a bike then. I still kind of healed from that. You know, my heart went back to normal size. And, you know, I still had gut issues, but I could manage that. And it kind of got everything moving. And I was starting to build muscle, and which I've never had before. I had actually a muscle wasting disease. And it transformed me into like a new creature. Um, they kind of think I wrote my epigenetic code, which means you kind of just re rewrite um, your DNA structure where it makes it better where you can kind of function and it's not the one you start off with, but you made it stronger. My, we actually designed um, with a company called Board Teamwear a shirt with them to put my feeding tube and bag. So I'll show you it. It's these little guys right here, which doesn't look you know, too big, but if you're carrying that around for about, you know, 13 years or however long, you know, people are sh like shaving their legs and I'm here door the Explorer lugging a backpack around while my pump's going off in a race. And so I remember this one race, um, these ladies started attacking every time my pump went off and I was like having to muscle memory to get my pump to work while I was, you know, racing and I was like, oh no. I, I love changing lives and you know, it's always one step at a time. You don't have to save the whole world at once, but if you're doing something, you're, you're all, we have a saying in uh, racing, is you're always beating the people on the couch um, just by getting up and moving. If it's one step at a time, that's all that matters. Try everything, even if you fail. Failure is not really failing, it's, it's learning how to work a mousetrap better. It's, giving you the opportunity to try harder and to do better than the people that even got it right on the first time and the people that are sick or have any disabilities or anything that they think that stops them. You know, do what you can do, not what you can't do. This life is about trying and exploring and exploring our world and exploring opportunities. You know, sometimes that's all it takes. Um, you know, just go out there and give it your best.